fudge on it and it, it just won't work anymore. So a lot of beeping, a lot of man chopping down a tree. Has a little yellow guy over there. Fan works, sort of. Doesn't seem to work very well. Uh, you, just real quick, you think you get Ted's corpse off the soup can? <laughs> like, I realize he died a hungry man, but you put him in, like the corner or something. Don't have like he's gonna his little head's gonna fall off or his hair's gonna get in the soup, and that's just, that's just no good. Day 22, we couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled of forced fruits. How uh, rude. See, Mary Jane is starving. Uh, Dolores needs food. Timmy also needs food. Why are they, how are they still hungry? I gave them more soup. This, this keeps happening. The, the downward spiral of the soup. You give them soup and they remain needing, why, why does he need a first aid kit? Oh, he's got like the bubonic plague now. That's unfortunate for little Timmy. See, uh, we can't send anyone outside because Dolores is still tired. Tune into the radio. Day 23. Timmy, he's got a bit of a Afro situation going on. It looks like Mary over here is a bit sick too. Dolores, you're just gonna have to leave them. Once, or once had we waited through all the static, we found a transmission that hosted some nut talking about conspiracies and saucers men from Mars abducting people. It was pretty amusing. Dolores complained that she can't get a good night's sleep. Dolores is not hungry. Timmy is hungry. Jane is hungry. They're both sick. No one is thirsty, though. And she's still too tired to go out. Open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it from a group of people obviously armed. Anyone who didn't introduce themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Um, no. I mean, on one hand, America, freedom. Y you know, it, it could be soldiers and whatnot. On the other hand, I'm not, like, my soup situation is good for the next couple days. So I'm not too worried about whoever's outside that door. Maybe they had given me the correct series of knocks. Not that they, hey, little Timmy's got his interest back in the wall again. That's something. State signed to the group on the other side of the door went away. They didn't show up afterwards, so he figured it was a wise thing to do. Let's just hope they don't come back in greater numbers. Mary Jane is quite hungry, stick or sick. Dolores is tired; she can't sleep, and Timmy is hungry, pill, and uh, he's rested at least. He doesn't need much, but he should drink. Can I can I send Timmy out into the wasteland? I should send Timmy. He's sick, but he is also taking up our food. Let's see, is he tired? No, neither of them are tired. She is tired though. Are they thirsty? They are thirsty. See, Dolores is too feeble. Mary Jane is feeling so so. Uh, sending Timmy is risky, so we should send Mary Jane, I guess. Prepared for tomorrow. Some door to door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join some called Astro Citizen. But we refused. Now he wants supplies and says he'll reveal some state secrets for us in return. Um, hmm. We only have two bottles of water. It, it's gonna be a while before anyone comes back, so I'm, I'm gonna ignore him. No, no state secrets for me, thank you very much. And she is looking rough. Day 25. As a rule, we don't trust door-to-door -door salesmen, especially ones who attempt treason. We told him to go back to whatever plan he dropped to he dropped to Earth from. He got angry and stormed off, mumbling something about how our souls are going to be devoured by alien Lord Yondar. Or Zontar, I don't know if that's an X or a Y. Poor guy, he seemed to be very confused. Mary Jane's diet could use some food. Dolores needs more time to rest. 
Um, Dolores will not last long without water, so we need water for everyone? Or no, we just need water for Dolores. Tired, fatigued, and thirsty. I'm still feeding them every day. I don't know if I should be doing that. I won't do that next time around. This time around, I'm just gonna still keep feeding them every day. Hungry and fatigued. Hungry, so it looks like he has to go out since she just got tired from something. So, uh, little Timmy, you can go out there with, uh, to take the flashlight, I guess. Okay, whatever. See, so Tim is out. Tim went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. He took the flashlight. Dolores needs more time to rest. Mary Jane is well. So, tired and fatigued. And just fatigued. We have Dolores the food. And it's the, uh, the cockroaches again. We have a gun, but it's broken, so no good there. Day 27. Our time will come. But for our... Yeah, it's just the brooches again. And you're thirsty. And you're just fatigued. Uh, they're asking to get out of five nights soon to plane afterward. It gets really dark. Yeah, great. The one time I send someone out with a flashlight is when we need it. Like, come on, game. Yeah, we, we ignore the military. There's not much we could do. Signal has to wait, besides, do we even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Okay, Dolores needs water, and you're just sick. For just one can of soup, we can get all the things in the bag. Well, I don't have any soup, my dude. Maybe he'll just fall over dead. Day 29, our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight unseen, and we're not about to start now. Mary Jane is sick and Dolores is not thirsty. Uh, let's see, we received a mysterious note today, politely requesting that we share some supplies with other survivors. We have no idea who it might be from, but whoever wrote this also included a few words of encouragement saying that they will be, or that we will be rewarded some, that, saying that we will be in some way rewarded for our generosity. We still don't have any supplies. It sounds like Timmy's back, though. Timmy brought back... Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that gun wasn't doing much if I don't have bullets, I guess. He broke the flashlight. See, day 30, there's no way of knowing if any of this is even true. It might be a trap or a prank. But even if it's not, we need to think of ourselves first. We we're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland, and it's safe for us, or it's safe with us now. It's quite a long walk from our house to the docks. We knew of a promising warehouse in the area. It survived the blast, but the sea wave drowned half of it, hoping it wasn't the better half. I always thought canned soup was made in America. Apparently, they made it in another country with a weird name that we didn't recognize. According to the crate date stamped, shipment came after the blast. Hmm, weird. Plus five. Food. The half-drowned container in the back was labeled nothing important, it was full of ammo. Curses, our flashlight is out of service after that expedition. It might sound paranoid. We think someone followed us, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Weren't there any drugs we could have given Mary Jane? We should give Mary Jane something to drink. Mary Jane could use food, yeah, yeah. So you're good. Uh, sick, thirsty, and hungry. Uh, and you're just hungry. And also sick. And Dolores, is, was Dolores good enough to go out next time? Yeah, we, uh, no, she's fatigued still. Uh, I, I can try. Let's see, our last expedition brought news of a vehicle parked just around the street. It sure looked unique, but we never got close enough for a good look. As we just send someone over to check it out. We'll, s um, that's sent to you. Send the person who could die. Ah, oh, she's fine. Shocking Discovery is a dirty ice cream truck. It was a little crispy around the edges, and it was also missing wheels and some other crucial parts, but the seats are fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to drive away and leave this radioactive land behind us? See, sick. No longer hungry or thirsty. Just 
skip that. I just don't need to read that every single time. Thirsty. I'm gonna get soup. Also thirsty. Let's see. We'll send Dolores back out, and she gets uh, the suitcase, I guess. I don't know if the suitcase will help. I send it out with just a handful of ammo. Send it out with something. Now with the playing cards, I guess. Maybe she can bargain with those or something. Day 32. Dolores is down on the surface. And these two are still sick and tired and hungry. They're always sick and tired and hungry. Uh, the roaches are more organized. Yeah, we don't have those things. We've never gotten any of those things. And the one time we did, <laughs> I immediately sent the guy back out with a rifle. I guess I sent... Did I send Timmy out with a rifle? No, I sent Timmy out with a flashlight. Seeing cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us. There's not... I feel as though these roaches are just going to give me a game over randomly. But I can't do it. I don't have a book. And I don't have anything else. So, uh... Not much I can do. Let's see. Let's hope no one needs water here. Uh, we were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the thing. We then discovered it was something much worse. Someone opened on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. Need to act. I thought I had the padlock. I don't have the padlock, though. Well, there's not much I can do about that. I just don't have... Really, I blame it on the water leak that immediately destroyed my map. We'd be so much better if we had that map still. The invaders burst into the shelter like a violent tidal wave, and immediately went for the... They, they took the food. I'm just, Well, we still have a little bit of food. So it's not the world's worst thing. No, no water for you, Timmy. We, st uh, we don't have... Anything, my dude. <laughs> Like, we, we had this suitcase, and this radio, and these bullets, but there's nothing we can use them on. Refuse the trade, hopefully that was the right choice. Uh, Timmy's in terrible shape. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. We got nothing. Gotta wait for Dolores. So this is what it's come down to. Stanley the island in the shelter for a very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken, and we saw them restocking the shelter before the bombs fell. Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't even make it there, right? We should probably go check on them, at least. I mean, they didn't really give me an option to steal or anything. They just said, check. Not that I, there was anything in there, seemingly. Oh, the trap door, expecting a wish for room full of tons of soup. But definitely not our neighbors, wrong. They greet us with load shotguns and angry faces, or angry looks on their faces. Today was just a friendly visit, but when one of the kids fired a warning shot in the air, we evacuated quickly. Uh, well, that's... So no nothing happened there, I guess. Uh, yeah. Can't do anything about the concrete. We still... This ammo is not doing anything. And Timmy took the flashlight when we needed it most. Timmy... Timmy's just gone. Goodbye, Timmy. Uh, Timmy went insane. He opened the shutter and ran away without looking back. He may not return. Well, goodbye, Timmy. Can't, still can't do anything. Still don't have the flashlight. Dolores needs to come back with food, water, and a flashlight, and we'll be good to go. She came back sick, but she had food, water, and oh, a survival book. There we go. Glad to see Dolores coming back safely, and she even brought the playing cards back. We were cautiously exploring the neighborhood when we got cornered by a scary looking thug with a shotgun. I was wearing our favor until a crate fell out of the sky and dropped right down on the bandit. Excellent timing, government aid. A food drop, that's all we needed. We, er, I did not read that. We did that. Er, what did they drop this time? Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate? No, soup. Someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to saw in the fall. As a result, most of the bottles were shattered. Luckily, a few of them survived. Should be enough to keep us going for a bit. Every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit filled with some high quality drugs. We were running short, so the opportunity to replenish them was something we were eagerly awaiting. We just didn't expect a metal container to fall on another scavenger's head. That was pretty traumatic. We might need some drugs to cope with the memory. 
We think a box we found was intended for a colony of lumberjacks. It was full of axes. We took one. During our expedition, we stumbled into a weird bar. Could have sworn it wasn't there before. Inside, we were greeted by an old man sitting on one of the tables, sipping dirty water. He invited us to a friendly game of poker, promising a reward if we win. Well, we beat the old guy and got a scout handbook as a prize. We said our goodbyes and walked out of the bar. He hoped to find the place again someday. Might sound paranoid. I think someone followed us again. Let's just hope it doesn't happen. Mary Jane kept fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Dolores we really likes something to eat and is tired. Dolores is sick. Um, let's see. Yeah, give food and water. Food and water both? No, just food to you. And I should give her the med kit. I feel. Cure her. Cure her diseases. And I don't want to send anyone out just yet. Tune into the radio station. Maybe you'll get something. Day 39. Just keeps going, huh? Why is there bloody handprints on the wall? That's. What happened to the radio? Something blew up inside the radio and the wretched thing caught fire. We were able to put it out, but it doesn't work anymore. If don't cure Mary Jane soon, she may die. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Dolores is hungry. She needs more rest and is cured. And she's also thirsty. And you're just sick. And fatigued. I will give you one soup, though. We're going to plan to send Mary Jane out tomorrow. See how that goes. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a great idea, or a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there was any trouble in the area. So we're about to step out. A pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness, and their owner started growling in the most terrifying way. Why can I not use the axe? Why is the flashlight there and not the axe? Why does Dolores die? No? No, I had she even said last man standing, so I was thinking someone died. Day 40. We felt it was too risky to face whatever horror waited in the shadows, so we did what any sane person would do. Shut the door. The creature was gone the next morning. And food and water for both, I guess. Yeah. Send her out with she she gets the briefcase. Yeah, briefcase. Keep the keep the manual for the bugs. We'll get those bugs eventually. Day 41. Mary Jane went outside and Dolores is tired. Give her a little bit of soup. No water. Hey, get the roaches with the book. Really, if anything, that, that event was just taking up so much of my time. We won the battle and maybe even the whole war. After the massacre was over, we tied up the cockroach mains and dumped them next to our shelter door. Are there being a warning to all other insects out there? Dolores is still tired and she needs some water. Why aren't some soup, Dolores? Uh... But I, I can't check the door, so... I don't have flashlight or a gun anymore. I got bullets, but no gun. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever reason, or whatever is behind the door will have to stay there. It also stacks the furniture against it to make sure nothing and no one comes through them. Dolores is... She's, she's just tired. Well, difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We do hope the whole mess will be over soon. Yeah, nothing to do today. Day 44. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days they're still struggling to deal with the shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Dolores is still tired. And it's not to me. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's part of a car. I can't signal my position. I still don't have that flashlight. I offer medicine for bullets, and they offer a checkerboard for flashlight. I will trade the bullets for medicine. Bullets aren't doing me any good anyway. If only I could somehow fashion this medicine into a flashlight. Minus one medicine, plus one. Uh, yeah, minus one bullet, plus one medicine. I managed to work out a deal. The woman gave us some tips about surviving the wasteland, but her advice seemed pretty useless. We already know that radiation is dangerous and that hitting a rat with a stick will eventually kill it. We thanked her and said our goodbyes. Loris needs some water. 
A young singer approached our shelter this morning and er, covered by two different guitars, a big backpack and a weird contraption holding a harmonica in front of his face. He asked for us some supplies in exchange for a folk song or two. I want to share. No, that's the only thing we have and a folk song's not gonna get us anything. Day 46. He learned he wouldn't share with him. He got really angry. First he tried to torture us with sounds for an unplugged electronic guitar. And that didn't work. He tossed some instruments at us and walked away. We tried to put it back together, but it was broken to pieces. How could you... Or how could you, mister? I was a tambourine, man. Dolores is no longer thirsty. And all we can do is, uh... Wait. Today we met a bunch of people dressed like a... Look at Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. Problem is, some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we can spare any hydrogen peroxide. I mean... I, I assume it's water for health again. I don't want to do that. She's still fatigued. Uh, they're not even real doctors. Commotion are coming outside. Can let me one thing. Bandits. Mary Jane probably wi walked right into them. We need to face possibilities that she's not coming back. Okay, well, she's she's not. Yeah, she's dead. Well, well, rip. Uh, I don't know if we really want to send her out. Yeah, we respond with an axe. Did they eat the axe? Oh, we broke it during the fight. We've taken a stand and shown these bands who's in charge here. We're hoping they won't come back with more friends. Our axe was broke during the fight. Thirsty and hungry. Fine, I'll, I'll send Dolores out. We got any other options. Ooh, definitely exchange the cards for food. Cards aren't helping us any. Hey, there we go. We've got a deal. We're gonna give her some food. Send her on her way with the uh, scout survival guide. And will it just skip a couple days? Yeah, it's just gonna skip a couple days. She was gone forever. Did she just die? Oh, I guess she just died. Well, rip Dolores. You tried your book. Uh, Dolores is on her way to the service. Let's hope she makes it back. A pair of strangers probably bandits searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman who's... Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Well, rip, rip Dolores. Survived 57 days. Done in by a lack of flashlight. Day 57, Dolores was captured. Maybe she didn't take... She took eight days outside walking around with only the book why not why not just loot this guy yeah yeah the may have had some melon there a nice magazine well that is uh that's that's the end of this run we have perished day survive 57 water consumed 9.25 soup consume 8.25 times defended your shelter once successful expeditions four of six items brought in 23 bunch of no decisions and four yes or one no decision and a bunch of yes decisions and i will end my adventure there